Germany. They're coming all over the world. Around you, the most of them need to make it in the Ukalik. When you pack food, what you pay like food, fat meat, meat. Tama ka ni Naglana, all the Simon. Mangkinig mo rin si Malay Akalit, yun ay nakawakasun. Puso man, mangkinig si Wapat. Una wapit ko lang na ayok ang kilin na kamigli. Pwede nyo pa sa umig, insop na madin. Kanok is yung matigisubing, I'll translate it. That you're being introduced to speaking in your back. What's in your heart? What do you think about it? I really wanted to learn ever since I was a kid, but it got too hard. It's like there's not much volunteers, and the only one I used to usually go to is my Anna, but nowadays she's mostly gone and going on trips and hardly seeing her and hardly learning. And I would like that more volunteers, elders, go to Salt School and go to the Inupak room and speak in Inupak, show us and let us learn and learn the Inupak. Ariga, go over Yalu Brut. Just keep on. Pili o Dr. Fe. Tereli. Temali. Bukat na hira ka ma. Inipayal ka niya mik ilit yung atip ko. Inipayal ka niya ktonik. Ang iyo kakaktugot kubang may kabani. Inipayal ka niya ktonik. Ubahi pang ma. Inipayal ka. Inipayal ka. Kapta ubani ilangit. Puyo ako si Gibot, tako, o katigit ka bun mako, ilangit piyaksot. Ubata na sumik, o kakamali, itkaksora laklugo, itkakagadiya, tako. Asin, ta namun ito ako ba, nakama, ako rato kloklugo, o kodiragang ubo na loon na rin, sumik, ilisimasok ka ma, Ulagaya, tama nga. Uba, ingilgan, unag lagtita ka, aglagtita may langat, inya sulit, pina kun, aglagtita ka sulit inya, ilit ilit chihuni, ilit chaktok, so kang eksemaro kami, apekrok toaktok, sulit, toklok mga inyum. Nakit niya, ukote na rito yung mami, ilisori yung kaput, pira loktok, at aramik tuklogo ka nga nit. Uba so inyo milisamaro kuming, tuklogo ay aga nga. So ilisamaro kuto ni, nagakailis mga loklogo, tema, nalap ka na ako kuto ni. Um, unova, iliso, iliso di ka rin ilgan, ang lagwing min karok lunga, ilitsi hunip to, tana, pimare huni, kayo ura huni unin, yalog lang ni pig mirak to ko. Pubahi pag ma, um, high school lang mo kaming, iliso rechot ka ba ni? Tara middle school lang kanya ni? Tanda ilis tarung aglan piragalak cake kanok lugit te pabak high school nun bisyo walak to tam na uwa ipjo anilak to kinyumun pinira kupigo nakuna yaga lak to um unapekso siya tama sumik ilisang minigli pigmangan Uko suli uba ako ay pledge alit sa mik pik mata tam na atu atu warak my country's tears of the ah pisukangan mumikliwo ato glowy sa malang naksunga ilisemasuk na reksi ako ni mga to ay yariput yeah inipetun Olang ni yang lu.
I played a little time that a Malru Lugo and no Achagat Laka Malru Lugo. I took a trick set to me, Elit Luariat, that Nova Aku. Um, I took the Saralak to it, not cracked to it, that Nalipinilla Rap Lugo. Elisang Elisar Mini Uvona Apexu Lagukia. I want you to see what you learn in school. Whatever you what I learned in school was algebra. The Rubaki High School of Mudili Road, Kasuti Rakron Richard, Ilisakting Tamna, Tamapu York Sirarigat, Ola Nil Rarata Kapta Tamani. Kubang meat, kuchi yung nipluit it nagatut it nagatut ito mitap ko ilisorit. Tama spelling pick mata sang nagmi kinyem niya. Merlu akimarok tapro mga Minimiliso di kanganin, herimin, it narig sila ka, tayla ka, tatnan mo. Uwili saktuk sol na baktusi, hukoksin, tawad kuninga uba, aglakit lechung, aglat lechung, inyuk it na kami, uba go, uhakapta, at saka tapko, tayo gibot. Nika nechok, tayo. Wanga uba. Kayawas, Lupak or Lang is a pet, Blapak. If you are a father, so it, so it, Kuya is a cup, go, the gate shop, welcome Mauta, Pakola Ruta, in your pattern, a tour out, Pinyan Market, a garden in you, a garden in the Stalo Market, that was. それ <coughs> 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 Their <laughs> It Pet 
So when I when I talk to kids, if you have love in your heart, you won't be using a stick. Just when when I was talking to Kathleen, he was getting into his brother's room, getting into his stuff. Now he's not going to like it, and I was totally at a loss. I didn't know what to do. So I finally I sat down with him, and I started talking with him. I told her that uh, your brother's not going to like it when you get into his stuff. And please, if you can, please stop. And you know that did it. She registered in her mind. She quit messing around with her best and brother's thing. It worked. Kids can read. In other words, if you're talking to them, there's a reason why you're in trouble, okay? You told a lot. Uh, I named after Uluwaru. One of his favorite sayings was, you can tell a little lie to escape, but the consequences are bad. Because sooner or later, when you tell a lie, somebody's going to find out. Sooner or later, somebody's going to find out if you steal. You know what that causes? When you do it the first time, you have bad feelings because you know you've done something wrong. It's called guilt. So when you start stealing these things, instead of letting go, go to that person. Tell them you're sorry. It'll melt their heart. It really works. That's when you begin to feel love. And the other thing that uh, I tell them, I tell, I told a lot of people, when a child that is growing up in a home without knowing love won't understand what God is loving me. When you love your child, they're going to be happy. They're going to obey you. And I'm finding that up. So I'm taking a college class in the Jewel's office. And uh, I told them, when, when this land plane first came around, John Schaefer, you saw a picture, he took the board to all the villages. And we started listening to the people. Sometimes we start 9 o'clock in the morning, it'd be 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. In the next morning, people needed to talk. They've been kind of in one area, but not talking to each other. And without eating sometimes, we go 15, 16 hours allowing the people to talk. And for the first time, John Schaefer, got the people together so that, you know, they weren't separate villages, they weren't Kobo meat, Sibiru meat, Katsibiru meat, they started joining together. And I've been telling this college class, if we can start teaching our young people how to become good parents so that they can teach their kids to be honorable people, it could be the next greatest thing when we start rebuilding our family. I'd like a little hand for that. Very good that you teach them how to grow up because if they don't grow up the right way, some things can happen, bad things. But if you grow them up right, they can have a family, can pass on the tr tradition for the Inupak culture and that you must learn and teach your kids <coughs> while they're growing up that how do you speak your language at least little by little every day to your kid. Show them and respect them and they'll respect you back and help you out with your stuff too. Thank you. When I was growing up, I speak only my language. That's how I grew up until I go to school. <coughs> We're all speaking our language upriver. That no lokate uvagut in your pera kenya kuta. So unning Aburaga Shumat Nagu in your walk to it, Kavani Kuvangmi. 
So he started that school outside of his house. He took all the hunting tools he used, all the gear and the clothing that he used when he went out hunting, and invited all the people that were married to come and start learning the language and the culture of the Maori, language, of the Maori culture and language. At first, they had very few people coming. But the more the word got out, the more people came. Now they have all their schools. They have three schools in every one of their communities as Maori, in, just like our little Nikechos, as the first language total immersion school until they're old enough or they don't go by the grades, they go by the age groups and um, until they're like about seven or eight years old, then they start learning the English language. And they have both the English and the Maori language equal in the curriculum in the schools. So if I say I in Inupak, in order to make a nasak, and the nasak is so many inches in English, I would say the nasak in Inupak is this way. Or this way. But if you measure it with the ruler, it'll be the same as what the English language is telling you. So those can be used, the English and Inupak can be balanced in the curriculum, and it wouldn't take much to get it balanced so that all of the younger generation can learn it in both languages. And that's, that's how they did it in New Zealand. Now all their schools, every one of their elementary schools, their first language is Maori, and the second language is English. All their colleges that they have, the first language is Maori, and the second language is English. And we can do that here too. It's just a matter of commitment from every one of us if we want to revitalize our language and our culture. We can piecemeal it the way we're doing it right now. But 50, say 50 years from now, how much of it is going to be lost? Maybe all of it. I think my generation and maybe one generation after me are the last fluent speakers of Inupak in our area. We have very, very few Inupak speakers, fluent Inupak speakers left. So I want you guys to really think about that. Do we really want to lose our culture and our language and die? Because if we, the foundation of who we are is Inupak. God gave us to be Inupaks, mm -hmm. not to be Nalaumis or anything else. If he wanted us to be Nalaumis or Ikriyaks or something else, we wouldn't be here. We would be someplace else where he wanted us to be. So the foundation of who we are is our Inupak culture. And if we lose that, we lose our soul and our spirit. We'll be nothing. We'll be nothing. Is that what we want to do? I hope not. I hope not. And that's why I think I wanted the panel to, to talk about that, and, and they did very well. In, in uh, New Zealand, Brad talked a little bit about the the um, babies, talking to the babies while they're in the mother's womb. And that's what they did in New Zealand. Those that didn't know the Maori language, the mamas, 
along with their other little kids, the ones that were pregnant. They went to that old man's little school outside of his, he started outside of his house. And they talked just all in Maori. While they were talking in Maori, the mothers that didn't know how to speak the language were also learning. Everybody was learning together. And it's not, it's not, um, if you don't say it right, don't feel bad because it takes practice. It took me how many years to speak the English language? It's the same way with our Iyabak language. For those of you that don't know how to speak it fluently, it's going to take practice and it's going to take some time to really learn how to speak it fluently. It's the same way. But when we made mistakes in the English language, the English teachers corrected us. And we do the same thing. If the impact is not quite right, we'll correct that. We'll correct it and let you say it the right way. And that's what the knowledge of language is. We have to preserve it. We have to preserve it. If we don't, we're going to come back. We're going to come back. We'll just be like walking robots in our region because we were not made to be um, just on the wrong We were we were brought here by God to be in the back. And, and that's what our foundation is. That's why we have so many, so many problems within our region. Our language and our culture is really tied to who we are. If you don't know your identity and who you are, as a person and don't love yourself as a person, then, you know, we, we need to uh, get that corrected. It's hard, it's hard, but it can be done. If you know who your identity is, if you know that you're an impact, just like the North Slope kids always say, I am impact. I can be, I want to be an engineer or I want to be an, um, a doctor or a nurse. And I can be those, but I am in back inside. And we can do the same thing. We are in your backs. We'll always be in your backs, no matter who try to change us. We'll always be in your back. And that's what the knowledge of language is all about. In Ipera, the Sigupsi, suddenly sit and lucky the Sigupsi. When you learn to speak in your back, you will be very, very powerful generation after us. Any questions for the panel members? They have a good example of using their impact value in everything. You know, teachers, they speak in impact. You know, they're from impact, they turn to teachers and help the teachers to um, impact too. You know, they use the um, values in math, they use the values in science. Hard work is one of them. Sabakita. Today in our schools, we could use that as Shamnak as a good example. It was a very good um, conference when we went there. Um, and I'll say, starting you know, from there, they're doing, using their impact values in any way. And today we should be doing that in school.